Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to know if you're running too low, too high, or just right on your amp settings on your welder. So I'm here with Yes Welders TIG 250P AC-DC TIG welder. This welder can weld carbon steel, stainless steel, aluminum, and all of the principles are gonna be about the same when you're looking at the puddle, no matter what metal you're welding. So we're just gonna be taking it easy today, working on some carbon steel, and really going down how to read the puddle. All right, so when you're setting your amps, typically the rule of thumb is you're gonna do one amp per thousandths of material thickness. So I'm gonna grab some scrap metal that's an eighth, eighth inch thick, which would be 0.125 inches, right? So setting our welder to 125 amps should be correct. But for the first weld, we're gonna actually make it cold so you know what it looks like and what the puddle feels like when you're running too low on your amp. So I'm gonna turn this way down to about 60, which is a little under half of what it should be. So let's run that weld and see what it looks like. The, the puddle was, it's difficult to move. It takes forever to get that puddle even created. And when it is, it just doesn't wanna move forward. When you're adding rod, you almost have to wait again for the puddle to create because the rod you're adding is cooling the puddle too much. You have to wait let it heat up. And what that's doing is it's not, you're not melting enough base metal to actually have a good strong weld. So let's turn it too far up and let's see what it looks like when you're running too many amps. So as you can see there, the puddle is erratic. You start the uh, machine, we have it set at 170, which is way over that one amp per thousandths rule. And you just, you start it and the puddle just immediately washes out. You have very little control. It's very wide, it's very flat. And when you're adding rod, it's just dissipating and kind of pooling everywhere. Again, very little control. You're melting the base metal, which is good, but the problem is you're melting the fill rod and everything's kind of going any everywhere and it's not being focused on that joint that you want welded. You're also introducing too much heat. The metal's heating up too much and it's causing a poor weld. So let's turn it down a little bit and let's try to find just that perfect spot. So we went down to 130 amps, which is just a bit over five amps over that one amp per thousandths. And as you can see with the weld we just did, it's a little, it's still a little hot. It's a little bit smoky in appearance. It's a little erratic. And keep in mind, as you go, as you keep welding in the same area, you're gonna have to turn your amps down as you go to accommodate for the metal's heat, right? So we're welding, we're heating up the base metal, so it's not gonna take, after we do a couple welds, it's not gonna take as much oomph on the weld on the amps to actually get it to the same heat property to get that same performance. So I'm gonna actually dip below 125 to really try to try to nail and dial in the correct amp setting so it's gonna flow just right. So as you can see, I settled on 115 and the puddle flowed a lot better. It's always gonna take a little bit of time to get the puddle created when you start a weld. However, once you get that puddle going, it doesn't matter if you're welding TIG, if you're welding MIG, if you're welding stick, once that puddle's going, you want it to flow nicely, but in a controlled and predictable manner. And that's how you know you have your amp set right. You're not having to restart the puddle every time and push it along. You're not having to chase it. It's not, the toes of the weld aren't running out of the groove you wanna be welding in. It's just a nice, consistent, easy weld all the way down. Now, these principles apply to, like I said, TIG, MIG, stick, all types of welding. It's easiest to see in TIG just because you're in control of the amps with the foot pedal. You're in control of the puddle without any filler and you're in control with the filler. So you can really start to see the puddle a lot better with a TIG welder. That being said, again, these apply to all different types of welding. So get out in the garage, get with your welder, purposely weld too cold, see what it looks like, see what it feels like. Purposely weld too hot, see what it looks like, see what it feels like. Purposely then try to find the perfect middle ground, keeping in mind as the metal base temperature changes, so are your amps. So until next time, enjoy welding with Yes Welding.